All right, guys, welcome to this morning power up call. Uh, it's not live, but it should be one of the last, one of the few calls that we're doing. I think this might be the last one that is going to be not live like this, that's going to be uploaded like this. I'm going to be moving to a place with some better Wi Fi today. So we should be able to do our normal live call in the next 24 hours. So, guys, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to get back to the live call. We're probably going to do more of a QA style call next time, just so we can um we can celebrate the ability to do it live again. So Today's content, though, is important. Today's message is extremely important. I, again, I when I sit down to do these calls, I ask myself, what can I share with students? What what do I see in the chats? What do I see in the channels? What, what do I see based on where they're at? What can I share with them in that place to help them get to where they want to go? How can I help them overcome the next hurdle? Now, today, I'm not going to be sharing a subject line hack. I'm not going to be telling you about disrupt or intrigue. I'm not going to be teaching you a technical skill. I'm going to be talking about a mental skill, something that help you get from where you are now to where you are in the future. So, so much about being a copywriter, landing clients, uh, overcoming any of the problems you face, it has a lot to do with your identity, right? Most of you guys come into the program and you think of yourself as a kid, you think of yourself as a student, I, I guess school student, right? Like I'm a student of this program, but like just a, a kid, a student, not a real person, basically, right? And a, a child. Um, some of you think of yourself as... Uh, your identity is wrapped up in in these these sort of ideas, right? But if you want to be able to achieve what you're looking for, if you want to land clients, if you want to write well, if you want to handle big projects, if you want to start making millions and millions of dollars, you can't have the same identity that you have now. And when I say identity, I don't mean like the literal conditions of your life. So much of your identity is tied up in how you perceive yourself, right? So if you are sitting down to solve some problem, you're like, oh, I'm just some new kid. I'm just starting out. I don't really know what I'm doing here. If you tell yourself those things, you'll believe those things. If that's your belief, your actions will be limited. They'll, they'll be flavored or colored with that identity, right? And let's say I'm a business owner and someone reaches out to me. I can clearly tell that they think they're a kid. They think they're inexperienced. They think they don't know what they're doing, right? If they honestly think that, it's going to bleed over into their words. And I'm going to be able to, to, to tell and I'm not going to want to work with them, right? If you're sitting down to write some copy and you're like, I'm just a student copywriter, I don't know what I'm doing, that I believe is going to influence your ability to write well. If you can instead step into a new identity or a new belief about who you are, if you can say, I'm I'm a young and upcoming copywriter, I know I'm really good at what I'm doing, I'm really good at creating intrigue and curiosity, and driving attention, I'm, I'm an intelligent professional, I understand how this works. I am a skilled copywriter. If you can believe that, you'll start to act like that. That's typically how things in your life work. You have your identity, like the things that you believe about yourself, and then you have your actions. And they kind of feed each other, right? Um, but typically, the first thing that has to change is your belief about yourself. Once your belief about yourself changes, then your actions actions can change. And as your actions change, they reinforce those other beliefs. So if you're able to shift your identity and start to tell yourself that you're actually a good copywriter, tell yourself that you're a good copywriter and believe it. Tell yourself that you're a smart kid that's going to figure out every problem that you face and actually believe it. If you do so, your actions will start to match your beliefs, right? It's not enough just to say it and then act like, you, like you're a basic baby student, right? Baby kid, right? A little child trying to do copywriting but if you believe something and then act congruently with that belief and when you get results and it works for you or even if you just perform the actions it's going to reinforce that belief make it easier for you for you to do that that way when you sit down to write your copy it will have the feel of a professional it'll have the feel of someone who's successful um that way when you reach out to clients they will feel the the feel of the email will will be ah this guy knows much and this guy knows what he's doing he must know what he's doing i'm going to trust this guy i'm going to at least talk to this guy it all stems from the belief you have about yourself and then going out and acting congruently with those beliefs. So I'd like you guys to take some time to think about it, right? Who, and I don't really, really care what you currently think or believe about yourself. Like that doesn't really matter. I want you to sit down and ask yourself, what do I need to believe about myself to be the best copywriter possible? So ask yourself that question and then believe those things and then act accordingly to that. That's going to be a huge mental step to help you get from here to the next level. You can't go from one level to the next until you, unless you've gone there mentally first, unless you've decided that you're going to get there, unless you believed that that is who you are, or at least who you are becoming very quickly. So think about this. Think about this shift. Think about the mindset, the self-belief shift that has to occur and make it. Ask yourself, what do I have to believe about myself to be the best copywriter I can possibly be? Guys, it's been a good call. I look forward to talking with you guys again live. We'll do this again tomorrow, 24 hours from now or so. Talk to you guys then. Goodbye.